you know how we've talked about context windows and how chat GPT 3.5 has this itty bitty context window of only 2,700 words? Yesterday, 16,000 tokens dropped. It's four times the size. So it can now handle 10,000 words. Yeah. And this is now available in everybody's playground. So all of these times that you guys have seen me go to OpenAI Playground and you've lamented, oh, I can't do that because I don't have ChatGPT4, which has an 8,000 token window. Because um, there's some prompts that you need that. They got this gift yesterday. Not only is it 16K, uh, they dropped the price of 3.5, 4K. So that's even cheaper now. Uh, last night, Karen B and I were playing with it with um, serialized fiction, like I was doing that one day when we were doing the women's serial. And we were calculating, like, if it took you 50,000 words to write 10,000 words, like, because just, just really astronomical, like very conservative. If we had to burn through 50,000 words just to get 10,000 serviceable words with a uh, GPT 16K, it would cost you 25 cents. Because we, we started this entire process of we're writing a haunted horse horror novella together and I hope we'll delight readers. Can you give me five flesh story out, outline? So we picked one. Then I was like, I love number four. What should we do next to write this story? And basically the AI told me, we need to decide on these six things. Once we have these six things, then it says, once you have a vision of these elements, we can proceed to develop the plot outline and further discuss writing the prose, meaning genre expectations. So it kind of signaled to me, Elizabeth, you need to have these six components figured out. Then I can make you an outline and then we can write the prose. If you ask the AI what it wants to do to write the story, it will sometimes clue you in on what the step-by-step -step instructions you need to follow. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, and I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I think it's going to work. So far it's been doing phenomenally well. So what I'm doing is I'm being the human and I'm doing my job, which is manage all the information. And I am uh, putting together basically a mega prompt that we're gonna say, we're writing a horror novel. You said I had to have these components for you. Can you now write a very detailed outline <laughs> using these components? And we'll see what it comes up with. So now I've got to go down to step four. I think we were okay with the first draft. And what I did differently this time is like, as it was doing it, um, I was validating and I was like, no, I don't like this. You're forgetting that we're trying to do a horror. So I'm trying to grab here. So supporting characters, time bending mechanics. Let's do that. Let's see here. Oh, this is the tedious part. Your job becomes like, in some ways, I just feel like the secretary for the AI. It's my job to keep all the pieces in order. Like I'm the puzzle master. So I'm pasting in the time mechanics. And we liked this because it actually came up with the idea that there's limitations to what she, she can go back in time to see it, but it's not going to influence the future. She can't cha make changes there. Step five was where we got this dark history and she wants immortality. And I said, um, there needs to be more horror components. So now we, we have more, um, more horror components here. So dark history. And then the last one was the goals and challenges. Now I didn't, I didn't actually uh, validate this so we can do it together. So she's trying to break free of the time loops. She seeks redemption for Lady Genevieve Ashford and her cursed followers. And climax she successfully gets out of the time loops. I, I think that she doesn't. Don't horror movies usually end not like you get out? I'm the human assistant to an AI, very much so. What's the vote in the chat? Do we want her to have a happy ending for this horror novel or do we want her to become part of it? Yeah, I thought so, Not no, no dark. Open end for a sequel, okay. So 
I gave it that, those instructions. Let's revise for an open-ended conclusion. Okay. She confronts it, battling against the manipulation. She discovers the truth behind torment, the ancient ritual that could banish the curse. There's a sense of resolution. However, as Isabella basks in her apparent success, subtle hints suggest that it might not be all it seems. Cryptic symbols appear, airy whispers continue to linger, or a mysterious occurrence hints at the possibility of another time loop lurking within the sunken estate. Okay. So I like, I like that better. And see, look, it picks back up the instructions again. Isn't that crazy? It again said, now we can discuss creating an outline for the novella as well as delve into writing the prose to meet that meets genre expectations. Holy Toledo, 16K is like my new boyfriend or girlfriend, if you are. Um, so step six was climax and resolution. Completely. Everyone freak out. I'm going to paste that back in. And I'm going to, I can grab all this and I can tell you how many words this is. That is 1,758 words, 1758. Yeah, for the mega prompt. Okay. We need to write an outline from the story information I gave you. A uh, haunted house horror novella that will excite readers of the genre. What are the steps for you to write the outline, the full outline? Oh, hold on. I refresh, so I've got to start with a new maximum length, make sure it's got plenty of room to do this and presence penalty of one and we'll click submit. So it's reading everything, introduction and set, settling, setting. Okay, and it picked up the sunken estate. This is much better. And I think this is going to be a similar situation where we're like, do you write the outline for step one? Now modify the outline for step two. Now modify the outline for step three. It seems to work best. And this one, it picked up, resolve the story with ambiguity. Okay. All right. Let's get an outline of that. Okay. Much better. I think it went on to, yeah, it's just building the outline now of those different steps. This is brilliant. It wanted you to ask it for an outline. I'm like, yeah, let's just get an outline of that. But I do think you need to do those steps because it, it, it's, it told it what to do for each part of the outline. It gave it a second to kind of like think of these components. I think without that step, it would, would probably have not kept, because the first time we asked it, remember it made the ending wrong. The second time it understood that the ending needed to be this. Um, so we have chapter five. Now, here's something really kind of cool. If we are writing a novella of, how long do we want this thing to be? 22,000 words? Sound good?
Okay. I don't know if that adds up. 2,000 plus 4,500 plus 5,000 plus 6,000 plus 4,500. Guys, it, it added up to 22,000 words. It did the math. Can you take those word counts and um, balance the importance and complexity of the sections in the outline and rewrite it? Oh my goodness, let's see what happens. Okay, so 2,000 words. <gasps> Look at that. 